So uh, there's just one more thing I want to do here. I'm going to add some audio here so that I can actually you know, have something that's going to work with those, those little chirps. I'm going to go up, right click and go import file. And I don't want to be in graphics. I have an audio folder here. And I have a number of different uh, chirp files. Um, I'll, I think I'll take cartoon birds, though. It might be better to, to take something else, but we'll just, we'll use this for now. Import it. It comes in. It's an MP3 already. And what I can do is just add it as a, another layer. I'm adding it. Well, actually, I'm adding it to Comp 1. Um, you could add it to Comp 1, or you could add it to the bird composition. It really doesn't matter. Sometimes I, I think it might actually just be better to add it to the the bird composition just because then I can see where the keyframes are so I can see where the bird is actually chirping. Um, here I want to drop this down and you'll see there's a little audio option here and I can actually see the wave. So I can listen to it. I do not want that to be kind of there for the entire so right now, wherever I see the, the waveform, that is where the audio is going to be. Now here I can, I, I did it one way, but I have a couple of other places where I also want that chirp to come through. So rather than um, do it the way I did it that time, well, I guess I'm going to have to do it on two separate layers anyways, because it's not long enough to kind of reach over all three of my kind of keyframes. Or I can just go in and actually move them closer together. But I'll just keep it simple. So I'll do two separate layers. And um, or here, I'm going to shorten that so it just covers the, the first two set of keyframes. And what I want to do is kind of silence it when it gets to that point where there's no keyframe. So I'm going to add a keyframe right before, add my second keyframe here. And here I just want to kind of flatten that out. And that will keep it quiet. And then go to this one, and add two more keyframes. And here I need to add the two keyframes because I'm doing two different things. So the two keyframes in the middle are keeping that quiet without any changes. And the two keyframes at either end, that's where we're going in and kind of increasing the, um, the loudness. So it's, it's what we want it to be. So I just, I'm gonna set that to zero. And again, here, I want to go in and add, add my keyframe. Here, I'm just gonna let it kind of peter out. So add the, keyframe at the end and that's going to be kind of like an audio. So for the first one I'm going to have, have that and then I need a, a second layer for the other one and for that I'm just going to select the layer, copy it, paste it and if we look at that here I just want to take this and actually I want to see the audio. Okay, so I want to move this over to the last one. And that is actually, I don't really have to make any changes because it just kind of goes off. Anyways. So here I now have the chirp. The chirp and the chirp. And if I go back to comp one, I'm going to have the same thing. The chirp, the chirp, and the chirp. And the wing continues to move throughout. 
So it's important to remember um, anything that you want to do to individual layers with the, um, the Illustrator file, do them in the comp that was created when you imported it in. Anything that you want to do all the, to all the layers as a whole, like do a position animation to them all, or scale everything down so they remain in connection with, you, with each other, then those you have to do in the composition that you put that comp in.